Hello everybody, Calibus here playing a little Hearthstone. Today we're going to be doing my brother on brother bashing tournament. I have three brothers, we all play Hearthstone, so the four of us are going to have a little tournament. For our first round, I'm going to have my two youngest brothers play each other. That's going to be Michael, aka True Knight, and Nimbus, aka Andrew. First, we're going to take a quick look at the rules. The rules are every player is going to have three different decks. You play until your decks get eliminated. If you lose, your deck is eliminated and you have to go to one of your other ones. If you win, you must remain using the same deck that you won with. So you're not allowed to switch out unless your deck is eliminated. It's the same rules that the BlizzCon Hearthstone tournament was ran under. So we're good. if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. So real quick, before we get started with the actual matches, we're going to have my brother say hi and say the three decks that they're actually using right now. We'll start with my younger brother, Michael. Whenever you're ready, Michael, say hi and tell us the decks you're using. Hello. Um, I'm going to be using the warrior deck, the mage deck, and the hunter deck. Is there anything special you want to say about your decks? Any kind of hints to give no. them? Just, just let the viewers wait and see. Yeah. They're my better decks out of the rest, so. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and go to Andrew then. Andrew, go ahead and tell us what your classes you're going to be running in the tournament. And if you got anything you want to add about your decks, go ahead and add it in there. Yeah, um, let's see, I'll be using the Paladin deck, the Mage deck, and the Priest deck. Out of all your decks, which one do you think Michael should be the most worried about? Probably the Paladin one. Why is that one your best one? It's gonna, it's gonna go for the sweep. It's gonna beat all three of Michael's decks, huh? Well, now Michael knows which one you're gonna use first, huh? <laughs> Michael, are you ready to take on that Paladin deck? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, <laughs> since you're so confident in your Paladin power, Andrew, why don't you go ahead and challenge Michael. For this video, we're going to be taking a look at Michael's cards, True Knight's cards, so we'll be seeing from his perspective. All right, Andrew sent the challenge. It has been accepted. Go ahead and choose your first decks. All right, round one, first matchup is going to be the Paladin versus the Hunter. Let the hunt begin. Some people often say the first choice is the most important. What cards do you keep? Which ones do you get rid of? Alright, first play, doing a little tracking. Which card will he pick? Job's done. Let's see what the paladin has to counter that. He threw out a leper gnome, are you scared? Alright. True knight on his second turn, is bringing out a, a board. Where's the board going? Straight into the Leopard Gnome for a trade. True Knight takes the two damage from the Leopard Gnome, but at least that little minion's off the field. Andrew coming in with you second play. Alright, brings out a Shield Bearer. Comes over to True Knight. <clears throat> and which taunt is better, the giant bear or the shield bear? Hmm. So are you very, very scared over there, Andrew? No. Follow 
the rules. All right, the peacekeeper brings down the attack of the bear. Got himself a little car draw there. And Hunter's Mark to bring his life down to one. Followed up with a bear kill. Job done. So the board is in favor of True Knight, but he is now in Consecration range, so that's something he has to keep his eye on now that he's the Paladin has reached 4 mana. Andrew silencing the biggest threat he thinks on the board, which is the Hyena. Reporting for duty. True Knight pulls out and unleashes the Hounds, and that brings him three Hounds. It also gives him three card draw because his bird was out on the field. And Andrew silenced the Hyena instead of the bird. So now he has three mana. Does Michael play another spell? Does he start eliminating the board, or does he start attacking? A lot of choices now that he got that huge card draw. I wonder. So using the house, do a little board clearing. No good no more, huh? All right, he cleared the board with his Unleash the Hounds and his Hyena, and he still has three mana left. Does he have another play? He's just gonna shoot him in the face and end turn. That was a strong turn for True Knight. Let's see if uh, Andrew Nimbus could come back from that. Using a strong removal of Hammer Wrap on the bird, it's a little unfortunate that he didn't have another way to clear the bird, like with the consecration or something. But that bird was, as he seen last turn, was just too much of a menace to leave alive. Don't don't be afraid to say that out loud. <laughs> so you kill one buzzard, you're gonna get another one. Him? Yep, you could choose who you does damage to. Alright, throws up a kill command on the paladin and then runs his beast into him for a strong turn. <clears throat> Trying to start to put the paladin in a hole. He's gonna have to play catch up if he wants to win now. What we do. Alright, a strong taunt coming from Andrew. The abomination seems to have put Michael in a bit of a pickle. Not sure about his next move. Gonna play the sea giant. And run the minions that were gonna die to the abomination anyways to clear the abomination. So now at least he has a giant on the field. Michael's gonna have a giant, Andrew's gonna have one too. And apparently Andrew's giant is gonna be a little bit better. Wow. 
All right, so much for Andrew's giant. And even though the giant's only doing one damage, he's still using it to provide the pressure. Andrew's been trying to stabilize. He's been playing catch up for most of the game with his paladin, but uh, all right, he's taking up. Who's he gonna take out with Leroy? All right, he says bite of the rhino. No charge for Michael's beast. Reporting for duty. Alright, so his Michael sacrifice is one of the whelps to clear out the recruit. Attacks with his two creatures. Throws down one trap. Shoots him in the face. Puts down a second trap and ends turn. So Andrew has no minions and a couple traps that he has to worry about and his life is down to 8 so he's getting dangerously close to uh, kill command range if Michael pulls another kill command. I don't know if I have another one. <laughs> I wonder. Right now, it's that giant that's doing a lot of problems for him because paladins don't have great removals for creatures with a large health line. I mean, they have spells like Equality, but damn, we, I say it and he does it. And Avenging Rap comes out hoping to clear the board and do 6 damage to Michael. So the board is clear, but Michael still has the health advantage. Andrew's life is down to six, so he's pretty much on borrowed time at this point. A hunter has a lot of ways to do six damage in one turn, so every turn now may be Andrew's last if he doesn't make a strong comeback soon. He needs to take control of the board. All right, there's a snipe that comes straight out for the abomination, but that's still going to do the two damage that kills the raptor. But it also does two damage to the paladin, so now he's two of the spell the two shots away oh wait he might be able to heal himself a little bit with the wait a second oh it's because he couldn't hit anything else all right i was wondering why some of the traps didn't go off but got ge ge geblin mechatork and a chicken on the field Job done. All right, so the lifelines is uh, still a little in favor of True Knight, but uh, it looks like uh, Andrew has caught up in the lifelines. It's four to fourteen. Follow the rules. Brings down the peacekeeper on Goblin Mechator, and the peacekeeper is now sniped. Got it. And we got a consecration to wipe out the chicken. And he sorts of justice over his other true, true silver champion, so he didn't want to get the hills from that. Which unfortunately. means that this first match is going to. With the aid of King Cross, even though that was kind of just used to rub it in because he could have got Geblin Mechatork in and shot him with his aim shot for the win. But it looks like for the first round victory, we're going with True Knight, the Hunter. So the Paladin that was going to, Andrew's Paladin deck that was going to sweep the whole tournament has lost his very first match. That means uh, True Knight now must continue to play with his Hunter deck and Andrew must choose another one. Mm -hmm. 
All right, everybody, we're ready for our second match. True Knight, a.k.a. Michael, will be continuing to use his Hunter deck, so Andrew already kind of knows what he's up against. Andrew has two more decks to choose from. He's down to his Mage deck and his Priest deck. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and choose your next deck. All right, we are mentally preparing. All right, Andrew is bringing up his mage. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so what's the name of your mage deck? Was it so I gotta be mostly defense here. Wasn't it called uh, turn 10 or something like that because you try to control your opponent until the last turn? And then bring out the big heavy stuff. My golden tracker. The coin. All right, no turn one plays coming from Andrew. We're going over to Michael and. Bringing up turn one tracking, just like last game. Hmm. I think I'm going to do exactly the same thing. <laughs> Trying to go with the same plays as last time. It's worked for me last time, why can't it work this time? Right, getting a little bit of fireball action to the face, a little fire blast, brings it down to 29. As I recall, your last turn was uh, tracking and then you used the board to kill a lepronome. Unfortunately, there's no lepronome on the board this time. So the boar has to go straight for the mage's face. And the boar is quickly eliminated with the fire blast spell. But the mage has nothing else he could play for one mana, so the turn goes over to True Knight. For those of you who don't know, the animal companion card has a choice of bringing up one of three random animals. It brought up a bear last time, it brought up a bear this time. The other choices are is a boar that's 4 2 with charge. And then a 2-4 Wyvern that gives all your other creatures plus one attack. Shh, it's a secret everybody. Don't tell them what it is. I guess mages aren't the only ones with secrets. Everybody's being hush-hush this game. But wait, is that another secret? <clears throat> so he faceless manipulated a bear that just got sniped. That was a sub optimal play on Andrew's part. I mean, to face this manipulate a bear is kind of, huh? Sometimes things just don't go your way, does it, Andrew? No, now it's a snipe. Two bears. This is getting very, very exciting. I apologize folks for the lack of commentary on my brother's parts. They're so involved in the game, they all, they all want to concentrate so hard and win. That bear's gonna chill out for a while. Uh oh, that secret keeper is getting buffed up by a secret and he's protected by taunt.
Uh, shouldn't I get my sea creature first? Yep. All right, the same sea giant that caused so much problems before for the paladin. Let's see if he has the same effect against the mage. Boom. All right, so it's a spellbender secret. That makes a spell that would normally target something else, target that creature instead. So instead of making the secrets, the... Ethro, whatever his name is, go down to one life. It makes the spellbender go down to one life instead. Alright, it seems like a lot of ice spells, a lot of control, try to slow, slow, uh, edges try to slow down Michael. And we got another Ethereal Arcanist out on the board. And one of the bears is down. There's a hyena out on the field. Oh, does a random one, huh? Hmm. Yep. I'm gonna save that one, actually. So another secret out on the board. Steady shot to the face. Bear to the little taunt. And the ending of the turn. Uh-oh, he has unleashed the rag. <laughs> so the Arcanist gets sent back to the hand with a freezing trap, gets him off the board. Arcanist, they kill the bear, hopefully, they're now hoping rag takes out something, and he takes out the hyena. All right, deadly shot. Let's eliminate rag. Coin that. Put this one. Hmm. Hmm. I think I should. Right. I was gonna do it for the other round, but I that All right. Chicken machine. He brings out the machine that buffs people. I like that. One. Let's see who he buffs. He buffs himself. So Goblin, Me Goblin Mecha Torque is a card legendary that you get when you buy something from the shop. And he comes out, he brings with him one of three inventions. One is a 0-1 chicken that if it survives till the end of the, the next turn, it gives you three draw cards and then dies. The other one is this one that buffs you. It does a 1-1 one, one buff, one to health and one to attack to a random creature. So it could be your creatures or their creatures. Then the other one is a hill bot that heals any damaged character for three. Oh, here comes out King Crush. Depends on really? what the secret is. The secret is an ice barrier. Is that I don't I don't think that's enough. I won't stand oh, it looks like King Crush is gonna do the kill shot again for the second match in a row. King Crush takes it for the victory. Andrew, the littlest of the littlest of brothers, fighting for little brothers everywhere, is down to his last deck. It's all on his priest deck. We're going to take a pause, take a short break from this video. On our next video, we're going to finish up this first round matchup between the two little brothers. And then we'll be getting into the, two, the match between, first round matchup between the two older brothers, me and my oldest brother. So this has been Calipus along with uh, Michael, a.k.a. True Knight, and Andrew, a.k.a. Nimbus. 
This has been Hearthstone, and we will catch you next time. We still need another game too long. Right. I can make the other video. Andrew might want to take a break. Might not want to lose three.